Hi YouTube family. Um, so I, just to let you know in advance, I've tried three times today to make this video. Um, and every time I get started, I realize that there's a lot that I need to update you all on. So I am going to do separate videos. Um, so this video will just be like what's been going on with me um, and why you haven't heard from me. So um, the last time I spoke with you, I told you that I was due to come on my cycle um, 12 5 and that my lucky numbers were in play um, so I was due to come on my cycle 12 5 my birthday is 12 25 and I was turning 25 and me and my husband got married 5 25 so all of fives and 25s and 12 like it all was playing um, had a big toll on me in the fact in how much faith I had in the last cycle I was on so I was on cycle three of Clomid the last time we all spoke and I asked three times the charm um, because I am four months pregnant so I did get pregnant in December well November technically I found out in December um, and I know it's four months later I apologize um, so right now I am 17 weeks and in five days five. four days um so sunday mon monday tuesday Wednesday. yes six, seven, four, six, four 12 17 weeks and four days my cycles change over on wednesdays um i will do a video separate talking about how i announced it to my husband how I announced it to my family. Well, how I found out how I announced it to my husband and how we announced it to our families. Um, so now, like I said, I'm just going to give you guys an update on how my pregnancy has been going. I'm uh, gladly I didn't have any morning sickness throughout my first trimester or anything like that. Um, I did have a couple like nauseous spells, but no throwing up, no uh, continuous nausea, anything like that. Um... I was diagnosed early in my pregnancy with gestational diabetes. I'll do a separate video on where I am with that and that battle and how I feel about it and all of those things. Um, as well as I'll update you all on how my first trimester screening went when I do that video. As well as the, um, as well as the upcoming ultrasounds and things that my doctor is doing. Tests that I have to go in for. Things like that. So that I'm going to do two separate videos, one announcing how I told, how I found out, how I told him, how we told our family, and then another one on um, my gestational diabetes, tests that we've already done, and tests that my doctor plans to do, and what um, she's foreseeing for the remainder of my pregnancy. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you the ultrasound pics from our 12-week um, first trimester screening ultrasound when I went the first time they couldn't get the images that they needed so I went back the second week so I have run some from 12 gestation 12 weeks one day and then the other ones are from 13 weeks exactly and then I'll also show you the um, ultrasound pics that we got when we did a home ultrasound to find out the um, sex of the baby early Am I going to announce it now? Um, I guess I will. I won't make you wait for that. I am four months pregnant with a... Hold on. Girl! I'm so excited. Um, here is her 12-week ultrasound pics. And this one is my favorite on this one because you can really like see really good and her feet were up in the air the whole time it was so funny and then these are from 13 week and she really like grew a lot to me um, in a week and it was funny to see like her personality is kind of shining through in the pictures and I find it really funny so here's those my she sits behind my placenta by the end of it so of course the ultrasound st pictures start here and then by the end she's like hiding she has had enough 
Um, so here's a close up, another close up. This one is my favorite on this one. You can like see the point of her nose. Is this the one? This one she has her hand on her forehead. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but her hand is like here and it's the little nub thing and it's on her forehead like this. And I joked with my husband, I was like, she's going to be dramatic like me. Like she's in there like, oh my gosh, mom, like today, <laughs> today has been such a crazy day. <laughs> and that's how I took it. So I find that one the cutest one. And then here's another close up of her hand on her forehead. And then I'm going to share with you. So I showed you the ultrasound of the sex when we found out it was a girl. So that is her buttocks that the arrow is pointing to. I'm trying to keep it back, but that's her buttocks. And then that's her little feet. And then these were at 16 week. So we did a home ultrasound. The tech came to our house. I'll link, um, I'll put a link of her information down below so that you all, you know, if you're in my area and you want to use her. Um, this was a 3D. So of course she is head to foot here. And it looks like her hands are in her mouth, the ultrasound tech said. And then the, this one as well. So you guys, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, it just was crazy. The last time I spoke to you all was Thanksgiving. Then after Thanksgiving, of course, we found out. Then my birthday rolled around and then we had New Year's. Then um, Valentine's Day hit and then my brother's birthday. So it's just been really crazy. We've had holidays or after holidays, big events after big events. And it's just been really hard for me to actually sit down in between doing that, doctor's appointments, um, of course, the exhaustion that's in the first trimester and, excuse me, and working. So even though I didn't get morning sickness, I was still very exhausted um, throughout the first trimester. Going into my second, of course, that has eased up. Well, not of course, because some women doesn't ease up for. That has eased up for me. Um, and other than that, um, I'm not getting too far into detail of what has happened with my pregnancy. Um what we're going what we're going to have to do or backtracking into how I found out and things like that so this was just an update just to put it out there get it out and then I'll 